And this will come as an affront to our guest right now, Mike Trout tying Ken Griffey Jr. in career war and tying Joe DiMaggio in all-time home runs. Mad Dog Russo joins us now. How are you, doggy? Hello there, Brian. Uh, I don't pay attention to war like the rest of you guys do, so that means nothing. <laughs> Trout Griffey was great in those days in Seattle mm -hmm. and never, ever compare Trout to Joe DiMaggio, you can't the Yankee Clipper. You can't compare. Never. You know, it's yeah. funny. I can compare him. I, maybe he's not a hero to my people. He's a hero to your people. Again, he was very big in the Italian community. He was an icon. He was a national hero. And I know he was the ultimate winner, dog. I wrote about it in my book that you did not read. But here, I did a little work on this. DiMaggio versus Trout. And this is DiMaggio before he went into the military service and missed his age 28, 29, and 30 seasons. So I think that's fair. But Trout from 2012 to last year, OPS plus, Trout has an edge, 178 to 159. Look, that's fair. It takes into account the run scoring environment. War, it's closer because I'll give you this. DiMaggio was a superior fielder and base runner. I'll give you that, dog. Otherwise, give me some rationale why anybody out there who doesn't follow DiMaggio's career should believe what you're saying. Well, let's start with the one thing. 56 game hitting streak. Let's start with that. It's a hitting that streak. That is an dog. iconic, one of the yeah, great I records know, yeah. in the history of Major League Baseball. Yeah. And Trout does not have any of those scenarios with his byline. Joe D does. Forget the fact that he was 9 and 1 in the World Series. Forget the fact that he hit 46 homers at Yankee Stadium in left center when it was 445. And forget yeah. the fact that the um, he's got a 325 lifetime batting average with 368 strikeouts compared to 361 home runs. Here's what you need to know. In 1941, in the summer, he hit in 56 consecutive <laughs> well, dog, ball games. I, I, I'll just say, 56. You're, you're right, you're right. 56. You're right, yet it was a different game. Trout is working a walk because it's more valued now. DiMaggio did not value the walk, so he didn't take it. Well, also, Trout's striking out half the time, and DiMaggio never did. D to get more that's power, the, which is reflected in his numbers. Trout he does have not... more power. Trout did not, well, I mean, he's got more power in these bandbox ballparks, for crying out loud. I mean, that's 515, <laughs> it's four nights, 500 feet to straightaway center in Detroit. Ah, yeah. oh, come on, stop Doug, at that. Doug, you know Those what? are band boxes, Doug, then. Doug, I hate to say band this. Band boxes. You are, you are correct in this sense. I hate to give, feed your argument, but DiMaggio's road numbers. 334, 407 on base, 581 slugging. DiMaggio was hurt more by Yankee Stadium than really any other Hall of Famer in history. So you're correct in that. Demi well, he's a right-hand hitter. Right-hand hitter. Most of your great Death Yankees Valley. are left-hand right. hitters. Yep, yep, you're right about that. I, I Demi mean, you know, DiMaggio was a... Derek, DiMaggio, yeah, yeah. man will switch hit. Yeah. Mattingly. Yeah. Right-hand hitting at Yankee Stadium was, yep. if you're a power yep. hitter, yep. was a complete mess. And a and, mess. And, and look, Listen, it's, it's, Trout's great. Go ahead. Yeah, DiMaggio was a flat-out winner. I'll finish your sentence. Flat-out winner. Nine titles, won the first four he played in, and he was their best player. Like through all of that, so uh, I'm not I'm not arguing that Trout versus Griffey is close. Where's Tr where are you on Trout versus Ken Griffey Jr.? Uh, I like Griffey's flair better. Uh, I like his defense better. He's obviously mm. faster. Uh, he's got 600 home runs, which you know I don't think Trout's going to get to 600 home runs. Mm -hmm. Now I can't bring up the ballpark. The King Dome was a band box, so I can't bring that up. And obviously Griffey didn't win a lot either, so I can't bring that up be from that standpoint. So if you want to sit there and compare Trout to Griffey, yep. I'm, I, you know, and I love Griffey. You know, 600 home runs is 600 home runs. Yep. I mean, I saw him dominate the Yankees in a short playoff series. I mean, I, we haven't yep. seen Trout in that environment yet. True. Now, True. And I don't want to hear about, well, that's the Angels' fault. No, it's not. Because mm -hmm. Trout signed two contracts with the Angels, and he had many a chance to go anywhere he wanted to play on a team that could be really good. But Griffey, <laughs> from a defensive standpoint, <laughs> I didn't yeah. see Mays in his heyday, yeah. Yeah. but I have a hard time believing anybody played defense in center field better than Griffey. Gr can, we, can, we, can we just throw the numbers Anybody. up there? Because he, well, he hit 600 home runs. Guys, can we throw the numbers up, Trout versus Griffey? Because I did do it. Trout has a 178 OPS plus. Griffey, 151. There's a difference there. War, though, Griffey is at 6.8. That's an, I'm using Griffey's 20s. I'm not using when he faded with the Reds. These are his good years. 6.8, comparable to Trout. But looking at those highlights, I'm laughing at Ken Griffey Jr.'s highlights. They're just so spectacular. All right, dog, I have one other thing. Andrew McCutcheon suggested a rule change, right? And he is saying that when you're sliding into second, you can no longer take out the second baseman. He says, look, we're going to get injured, and there should be a rule that says if you're receiving the ball on a steal attempt, you can't block the base. Are you in favor of that? 
Yeah, I listen. I think McCutcheon makes an excellent point. What's the difference between home plate and second base? Why, I know home plate's a run, but you can't block home plate, so why should you be able to block second base? I don't have a problem with that. There should be a pathway for the runner to go steal the bag, mm. and he's not wrong. Now, there hasn't been as many injuries, and when the players slide head first and jam and break their fingers, I don't like sliding head first. But I think the tenant is right there, Brian. What, what, what's wow. the difference yeah. between blocking a plate and blocking second base? If you can yeah. block the plate, if you can't block the plate, why should you be able to block second? Yeah. I don't get it. Yeah, no, why? You're, you're being very reasonable there. I thought you were, ver I thought you were very much against rules and impl implementing more rules. But maybe if the guy, you can ban this, where you drop your leg down and take the base like You can't do that drop where you put your leg across the base. Maybe that will do it. I, I think that would be a good way to do it. Well, the problem with that is then it's a gray area because when are you going to uh, evaluate dropping his leg down? Yep. Either you can block second base or you can't. Make it a cut and dry situation. And I've always, always wondered about that, why you can do that there and not anywhere else. I think McCutcheon's got an excellent point. And again, back to DiMaggio, okay? <laughs> yeah. Back to yes, DiMaggio. Yes, please, go ahead. Yeah, yeah. You know he's better. Listen, I love Trout's great player. We all know. I'm just kidding when I have fun with it. Mm. We all know how great he is. But DiMaggio is an iconic, immeasurable talent at, who represented an era. It, and that counts. It's hard to compare Trout to that. His it's fellow, his fellow that. players held him in awe. Not just the highest regard. They were awestruck by a guy who walked among them. That says a lot. Doug, you made a lot of sense today. I don't know what to do. I love you, Brian. I like to tie you. Look good. Good to have you back. Always a pleasure. All right, Dougie. Take care.